Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Latoya and for this video, I'm going to be breaking down each ticket for BeautyCon and what you'll be getting depending on which package you purchase. If you're planning on going to BeautyCon LA at the end of the year or you're trying to save up your coin to go next year to BeautyCon New York, this is what you would be expecting. This is what to expect depending on what you purchase. Or what package you purchase all right I hope that makes sense the first option that you have to purchase as for a ticket if you see me looking down I'm looking at my phone I'm looking at my phone and I'm also looking at the notes that I wrote down about the experience of what's the first part of the packet that you can purchase is just general admission three different types of general admission the first one is that you can come on Saturday the second one is a Sunday general admission meaning that with either day that you purchase you can only come on one of those two days so if you purchase Saturday you can only come on Saturday if you purchase Sunday you can only come on Sunday and the third general admission is the two-day general admission where you're able to go to BeautyCon Saturday and Sunday let me just go ahead and go into what are you getting if you're just getting general admission Saturday Sunday the doors open at 12 so it opens at noon and then you pretty much just have all access to all brands and experiences on the main floor including the main stage panel so you'll be able to go to all the brands the boots everything that's on the main floor you have to wait and stand in line however long the lines are you go in at noon and then you stand in line and you go and you go to each one of these brands now like I said in my haul my haul um, video which I'm gonna put right up there if you want to check that out that just because you're buying general admission doesn't mean that you won't get free product you can still get free products they hand out samples all the time the only thing that you have to do is either sometimes they just hand it to you as you're walking by or you have to either follow them on Facebook Instagram some type of social media outlet they'll give you a free product or sometimes you might have to take a picture and post it on Instagram and tag them into it and then they'll give you a, um, a product so it really depends on what that brand is asking or requesting from you that you would do it now let me throw this in there is that with some brands they won't offer it to you you may have to ask them like okay is there anything that I I can do to get free products some of them they just tell you as soon as you come up others they try to sell you the product and then if you ask them then they'll tell you and then there's some brands that doesn't do anything like you just have to purchase the product okay. mission that's what you get and it also says um, it includes main stage panel I guess you're able to see that segment of the panel you're able to go to the room and sit and watch it you're not gonna be on the first few rows you may be sitting back a little bit but you will be able to sit and listen in on what's going on this after general admission you have the two-day holler pass so what you get in the holler pass is that you get access a whole two hours earlier door opens at 10 so instead of going in at noon you get to go in at 10 and you get a free VIP swag bag and this year it was um, stuffed with over $200, $200 worth of product. Like I said, I posted the video so you can see what was in the swag bag. There's a lot of videos that's out there that shows what's in the swag bag. Mine's is a little bit more extensive and more detailed. And I also have way more products than what other people show because I show what you get as general admission, your swag bag, and what you get is as if you were quote unquote talent. <laughs> so you also get a de dedicated VIP entry meaning that they have everybody separated nicely so they have everybody separated so if you general admission you have your line over here and then if you're 
a hauler, you have a hauler pass, you got your line next here. And then if you have all access, you have another line just for all access. And then they have another line for insiders. So you have your own individual VIP entry into BeautyCon. You also have all access to brands experiences on the main floor. So pretty much you have all the, the same thing that's in general admission. So the only thing different that you get in the hauler is that you get your own separate dedicated line just for the haulers and you also get the swag bag okay and you get to enter beautycon two hours earlier than general admission all right guys while i'm doing this video if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll type to you and try to explain a little bit more in detail if you curious on what exactly that I mean especially if you don't understand it now okay I don't mind I will sit with you I will break it down <laughs> I will break it down for you the next packet that you get is the all access Pretty much for all access you get everything that the hauler gets which includes doors open at 10 o'clock instead of going in at 12 with the general admission so you get to go in at 10 o'clock two hours earlier than general admission you get the free swag bag stuff with two hundred dollars worth of product you get your own dedicated VIP entry but this time with the all access you get front of line access meaning that there's brands who has front of line access where you're able instead of standing in line once beautycon is open it's 12 o'clock everybody is in line and there's a long line if that brand has front of the line access you're able to skip the line pretty much you don't have to wait in line you get to skip the line and you get to go in and enjoy the experience of that booth get whatever products that they are handing out or whatever tests you pretty much get the experience that booth without waiting in line access also gets a dedicated lounge so what that means is that there's an area where all access is able to go people who have the ticket for the all access is able to go and sit down drop off they drop off they well, I'm not going to speak for all access. I'm not sure. I'm sure they have a coat check, especially if they have a lounge for them. So I'm hoping, I don't know, because I didn't have the all access. But you're able to, don't quote me on it, check your coat. There's a place where you're able to sit down, relax. This year, the first 100 tickets sold get a reserved seating at the main stage. And I actually saw the reserved seating. So pretty much... The stage is all the way in the front. There was two rows around the stage that was for the insiders. And then there was a few few rows, maybe like one or two rows, probably about the same. Two rows that was right behind it. And that one was for the all access, the first hundred people who um, purchased their tickets for the all access. So pretty much you're able to sit up close to the stage. It also includes access to build your own brand which was on sunday so that was a seminar that was on sunday about um helping you build your brand build your own brand it was 10 a.m from 11 30 a.m it's securing the bag 101 insight into building your brand excuse me if i'm pronouncing any of these names wrong but there was emily current mary elliott i believe they were fashion designers and they owned a I don't want to say it wrong. I know they own like a clothing brand known for their jeans. I wonder if it was Levi. I don't know if it was Levi, but don't quote me on it. Look them up. Google them. I'm sure you can find out what brand they are. They design or they own. They actually built this from the bottom up. It was, it was a really nice story. They met in college and then they were going to school for something in science completely different. And then they end up um they were roommates in college and they end up building their own excuse me building their own brand because they like to antique shop for clothes 
Anyway, look them up. Their name is Emily Curran and Mary Elliott. And there was Zandra Cunningham. Sandra, Sandra Cunningham, um, she actually started a lip gloss line at the age of nine. And I believe she's like 18. She just now started to go to college. And she has like his her own business, uh, her own cosmetic line, her own lip line. Where her mother and father are the CEO and the CFO of the business while she is the owner it is like an amazing story but anyway so that's a little tidbit of what the build your brand of course like the other ones you get the access to all brands and experience on the main so as for the all access let me recap real quick so the same thing that you would get from the hauler is you get the free swag bag $200 worth of product you get the access two hours early at the door so you get to go in at 10 a.m. you get your own entry VIP entry and you get access to all the brands and the experiences on the main floor including the main stage Okay, the things that are different From it is that you get front of line access where you're able to skip the line you get a dedicated lounge and then You also have access to build your own brand which was on a Sunday and then the first hundred Tickets that were sold so the first hundred people who purchased the all access tickets got seats at the main stage so that one not all access got those seats just only the first hundred people s is the insider okay so what's included in the insider these are the same things that is included in the all access and oh i'm about to drop my phone the all access in the hauler pass you get to enter Two hours early, so you to go in at 10 a.m. This is the same thing that you would get if you purchase the all access and the hauler packet. You get the swag bag. You have a dedicated VIP entry. To go in two hours early, you get a swag bag. You get a dedicated VIP entry. And then you also have access to... The brand experiences on the main floor. Okay, so those are the things that you get that's the same across the board. Now, the difference for the insider, the insiders, the insider has the same thing as the OS Access where you have a dedicated lounge. Now, the dedicated lounge is separate, separate from the All Access and the insider. It's not the same lounge. It's two different lounge lounges, okay? So you get to check your coat. They have couches there. You can, if you have like excessive amount of product where you don't want to carry, you can take it back to your lounge and they would check it with your, with your coat. They also have water there for you to drink. So you don't necessarily have to go purchase water or bring a water bottle or anything because they have water there for you to drink. And the insider lounge. also get guaranteed front row seats at main stage meaning so when they have the seminars and these panels the first two rows that I mentioned before in the previous ticket those two rows are actually reserved for the insider and um, exclusive tour of the creators gifting suite I'm trying to think if I saw that I don't believe that I, I got that tour I don't know. Care Bear, <laughs> if you're watching this video and you remember us going to the suite, let me know to refresh my memory because I don't, hmm. I'm not sure if that was the um, talent room. Maybe that's part of the talent room that I went to. Hmm. I'm not sure. I, I'm really not sure about that with the, um, the executive exclusives tour of the creators gifting suite so you get a um exclusive access to halo room photo booth and the act the halo room photo booth was actually located backstage so where they have the panel the main stage panel behind the stage the backstage that's where they put the halo room so it's like a video a whole video recording and everything you know what i think i might post it on my youtube yeah i'm posting on my channel after i put this video up i'm gonna post it okay 
You also got tickets to the official BeautyCon New York City after party. We did not get tickets to the after party. So the after party didn't happen. And I told you guys so because I posted it in my um, ticket reveal video, which I will post up here. Okay, somewhere in the corner. My ticket reveal video, I actually did um, mention that at the, as a surprise at the end that there was not going to be an after party and there was no after party. You get an all access lounge and build your own brand on Sunday. That's pretty much it. I keep saying it then a lot. But that's pretty much it. So what I mean by what I was saying that because I really don't want to go too much into my experience because I'm not I don't want to be negative. I don't want to be biased. I know that there's a lot of people who have posted that a lot of negative comments and then there's some people who are like, well, it happened, but they did the best they could. For me, I feel like that's a little bit unacceptable, especially when you sold people tickets to something. And I'm not just saying insider. I'm talking about the all access. I'm talking about the hauler. General admission is not really included because you're just going just to go to be in an environment to network. And pretty much everybody is going to network. But when you purchase one of the higher tickets and you go and they tell you this is what you're getting and then when you get there, they like, well, I know it said this when you bought your tickets, but this is actually what you're getting. And they show you a sheet of paper of what's really going down that's what that that turns that turned me off okay so let me just break it down on what they said they pretty much what was taken away so the exclusive tour of the creators gifted suite was taken away the halo room the exclusive access to the halo room booth was taken away and then the tickets to the after party was taken away. and the front front of the line access on the tickets it just says front of the line access but once we got there they gave us a list of all the brands that were participating in the front of the line access, which it didn't say on the tickets. Like it could have said front of the line access to participating brands. They could have added that on there, but instead it just says front of the line access. Those are the things that were, and um, also the swag bag. Originally the swag bag was supposed to be $500 worth of products. And then they bumped it down to $200 worth of product. So those are the things that was kind of like, okay, when you buy your ticket, this is what you're getting. But then when we got there, they're like, no, this is what you're really getting. Few people, and I was one of them, few people who purchased the ticket was able to have access, limited access to the perks that we paid for because we brought it to their attention and we asked questions on why were the cha changes made and why why is it that we wasn't informed we asked questions we basically put them under the spotlight and i feel like it was kind of unfair because people who purchased the tickets they had such a bad experience the first day that they chose not to come the second day and then there were some people who just didn't i don't know if they didn't know or what was going on but there was a lot of people who just wasn't able to participate in everything and i think that was very that was that was it was wrong i feel like that part of it was very wrong end up getting access to the halo room on sunday we um did a tour of it we were able to do our video we end up staying backstage for pretty much the rest of the event and nobody bothered us um as for the creator's gifting suite like i said i don't re really remember that if we did participate in the gift this week i'm really not sure but that was one of the things that they said that we wasn't able to have we wasn't gonna do a tour of but then they may have slotted in there as for the after party child they tried their hardest to convince us that there was going to be an after party. after party i know in the previous years from what i've been told is that it was at a different location away from BeautyCon, and what they were trying to do to kind of save save it where they was going to do the after party in another area of beauty con 
which never happens. This is what you get for the insider. So you get to enter two hours free. So the hauler, insider, and all access get to enter at 10 o'clock while everybody else who had general admission enters at 12. You get your swag bag just like the hauler and the all access. You get your dedicated VIP entry. You get front of the line access where you're able to skip the line. Dedicated lounge, which is separate. They're not together. It's two separate lounges, one for all access and one for entry. Front row seat at the main stage. So whenever they have the seminar, you get to sit in the front. You get the exclusive tour of the creator's gifted suite. You get exclusive access to the Halo Room photo booth. Um, tickets to the official BeautyCon New York City app. You also get the access to the dedicated lounge and build your own brand Sunday program. Okay. Which ticket is best for you? It really depends on why are you going. Why? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Why are you going? If you're going because you want to network and you want to meet brands, general mission will be good because you get to meet brands because you're there. You get to mingle with people. And I feel like it's really good because it doesn't make you feel like you can, like the front of line access, you, get, you have to stand in line for everything. So the times that you stand in line, you get to talk to people. You get to meet, mingle. You get to network. So if that that's the reason why you're doing it, general admission is good for you. If you're going because you want the swag bag, the hauler, you get the same you get the same experience as general admission, but you get the swag bag. You get the bag. Yeah, let me stop rambling. That's the end of my video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you new here, please subscribe. If you've been here before, if you've been to my channel, you already a subscriber. Hello, welcome. How are you guys? Thank you guys for watching. And remember, you are made for more. Bye.